Hey folks, it's Jim from the Movie Rewind, and I'm here to review the film The Artist. It's year 1927, and Hollywood, George Valentine, played by Gene Dujardin, is a silent movie superstar. The advent of the talkies will start the downfall of his successful career and see him fall into oblivion. For young, extra Pepe Miller, played by Benice Bijo, it seems like the sky's the limit. Major movie stardom awaits. The artist tells the story of their interlinked destinies. Likely to be the Best Picture winner at the Academy Awards, the artist is a nice, pleasant, dramatic, and sometimes funny piece of work. However, it's kind of lightweight stuff. That's fine, and the film should prove to be a crap pleaser. Well, maybe not, since most young moviegoers probably won't like the film. I wouldn't say the film is particularly against the creation of sound, but for me, that's all this film amounted up to. Hey, wasn't it nice when films were silent? It has that kind of attitude. I don't mind visual storytelling, but the creation of sound allowed for more opportunities than just spoken dialogue. Also, the story isn't particularly fresh when it comes to films about Hollywood. Martin Scorsese's Hugo has far more to say about the medium of visual storytelling and film preservation, something of which this film lacks. Hugo is a love letter to film, both old and new. The artist is just an exercise. Dujardin is charismatic enough, and Beho looks like she belonged in the silent film era. I wish I had more to say about this film, but in the end it feels like a gimmick. A well-polished and well-executed gimmick, of course. I'm all for the perfect color scheme of black and white coming back, but if this is the best flick Hollywood has to offer regarding silent film, it's kind of disappointing. Still, the performances are strong, the film is well-made, and it moves at a fairly good pace. The flick didn't leave much to ponder or think about and lacked a greater sense of excitement. This might have been possible had a studio backed up the creation of this film instead of being an independently financed film. Still, if Hollywood is listening, I wouldn't mind seeing a black and white film noir if possible. In any case, I give this film a B. That's it for the movie one. Have a good day, folks. Until next time. Yeah.